Gail Saxton Miller was born in 1943, the sixth of nine children of Joseph and Myrtle Saxton. Gail grew up in the Capitol Hill District of Salt Lake City, where she and Larry Horn Miller met in the seventh grade. The couple wed in 1965 and raised their five children in Utah and Colorado, finally settling back into the Salt Lake Valley with the purchase of their first car dealership in 1979. We grew up in an area that there wasn't a lot of money. Um, Gail learned how to make do. She learned empathy for other people because none of us had much. If I needed a dress, Gail made me one. All during high school, she cut my hair, trimmed it. I never went to a, a beautician. I think she pretty much cut her own too. I think all the things that happened to us um, put her at a point that she could become the person she is today. I've always um, seen my mom as a caregiver and someone who gave my dad endless support during the years that he was working so hard to build the organization. And that took so much out of him every day. Uh, but, but somehow there was this, this magical process where when he went home at the end of the day, uh, usually very late. Somehow he would get rejuvenated. You know, my mom would find a way to kind of put him back together, so to speak, and they did that for years. I think my mom deserves credit for her role in that because without uh, that spiritual healing and all, all the other types of healing that she provided for my dad, uh, I don't think he would have had the stamina and the, the energy that he that he needed to uh, do what he did. Before Larry passed away in 2009, Gail was named chairman of the board and owner of the Larry H. Miller Group of Companies. Gail's accomplishments in relationship to the business have been tremendous. You can measure them in numbers. Since uh, Larry passed away, the Miller organization has doubled in size of revenue, in size of employees, and this isn't by accident. Gail's been a key part of that. She's not living in my dad's shadows anymore. She's, she's had a chance to, to come out into the light and for people to get to see her for who she is and what she is. And not only are they not disappointed by it, but they actually like what they see. Gail's a problem solver. I don't know if uh, anybody necessarily appreciates that about her, but uh, whenever you raise any issue, any question, any situation, uh, Gail's first response is, uh, well, let's do something about that. Uh, let's, uh, this is what we're gonna do, this is how we're gonna fix it. As the business has grown, so too has Gail's capacity to enrich the lives of others. There are so many things, so many blessings that she has, physical blessings, spiritual blessings, material blessings, and she looks at all of them as, some, as gifts that she's been given. She doesn't look at any of those things as things that she owns. She looks at those as things that she's a steward over, and she is more than willing to share. I think the face or the nature of our community would be much different without the uh, philanthropic giving from Gail and the Miller family. When you consider the scholarships at the University of Utah, what they do for the arts community, what they do for other education opportunities, what they do for the homeless and the, and the needy. You know, Gail and the, the Miller family were very generous in supporting the YMCA and opening our first community family center. And we had our grand opening luncheon and ribbon cutting. And Gail was planning on being here at 1115, but she was so excited to be here. She got here early and the kids and the staff were just so excited to meet with her. She took the time to interact with the kids and um, talk with the staff. Gail and philanthropy uh, are synonymous, really. Um, it, I think I'd like to say it's in her DNA. Um, that's what Gail is, is she's a, a person who just inherently wants to do everything within her power to make things better to improve uh, situations, and uh, so it just comes naturally to her. Gail has helped in many different ways on the university campus, but probably the most profound way 
is the scholarship she and the foundation have given to underrepresented first-generation students. Maybe they've come from refugee camps, maybe they've come off the streets of Utah from severe poverty, maybe they've even aged out of foster care. These are students where the support of the Millers is changing their lives. Honestly, the scholarship has saved me in so many ways and and it's still it's still doing so much for me and my family. And in the future, I honestly hope to give back. Gail genuinely loves the Miller Scholars. I remember one young man that she and I sat with at a, a dinner. He had been on the streets. He was completely alone, completely homeless, living on the streets of Utah. He is now a successful lawyer in our community. She changed his life profoundly. As a widow, it was a great blessing to me to have my son's education paid for, and it took a great burden off of me. When you think about the skills and the lessons that those students are learning and how they're going to be able to go out into the world and apply that knowledge and the lift that it will give to our society, it's, it's really fun to think about. And it, it, it makes me really proud of my mom that she's able to do that and she's willing to do that. Gail's generous spirit and selfless example have continued to inspire those she comes in contact with. Gail is just such a wonderfully warm and approachable person. And I think I could kind of speak for all the employees that work there that I see interacting with her and that I've watched over the years as I've been able to be there also. She allows people to approach her without any reservation, and she hears well, she listens, and she knows details about employees that just like, wow, she still remembers those things. The things that, that I learned from, from Gail that stand out the most to me are, um, it's a saying her and Larry always said to me growing up, and you don't have to blow out somebody else's candle to let yours shine. So if you can help somebody else get to what they need to attain, it, it will always help you out in the long run. I think what she'd want us to learn is that we can all make a difference and that some of us have to do it in a little smaller ways, but we can all make a difference where we're standing and in the place that we're at. And sometimes that's by volunteering and reading at schools or mentoring. Sometimes it's by giving, but she would, I think she would want all of us to be able to be involved in the communities, be involved with our own children and be involved in our neighborhoods so that they're better because we work here, because we live here, because we play here. All this stuff that you see and, you know, a mantle full of awards and all that kind of stuff, she, she appreciates that, but she doesn't seek it. It's, it's, I think that she wants for her legacy of mother to be one of her most lasting legacies. What is Gail's uh, most important achievement? Um, uh, I suspect that she hasn't had it yet <laughs> because Gail's going to continue to do good and um, continue to uh, have influence for good uh, in all her days. And um, so, so I think the best is yet to come. Congratulations, Gail, and thank you. Gail, you are so deserving of this award. I love that you're getting it. It's so deserving, and I'm just so grateful that I know you. Well, congratulations, Gail. Thank you for everything that you've done for the Y. Congratulations, Gail Miller! Congratulations, Gail! Thanks for all you do for diverse students at the University of Utah. You are truly a giant in our city. Thank you for all your support and everything you do for our community. We, we love you and we appreciate you. I want to let you know how much I love you and I am so grateful for your friendship. You, I can't think of anyone that deserves it more. You're also a giant as a friend and you're loved. We love you, we appreciate you. We hope that you'll take this honor for what it's meant to be. I am grateful for your courage and stamina in supporting and leading this company to where it is today. Gail, I can't think of anyone who deserves this more than you do. You are such a fabulous example of someone who um, knows how to give from her heart. There is no one who is more deserving of the Giant in Our City Award than you. Congratulations.
Dear Gail, we love you. May God bless and keep you always. Congratulations, Mom. You deserve it. Mom, I just want to say congratulations on receiving the Giant in Our City Award. You're a giant to me. I love you. Congratulations, Mom, on receiving the 2015 Giant in Our City Award. I can't think of anybody that de deserves it more than you do. You're a wonderful lady, and I love you a lot. Congratulations. I'm proud of you, and I love you. Gail, you've always been a giant. I'm glad you're finally getting some recognition. Love you, sweetheart. 